Hello. Welcome to Embracing Mattress. My name is Renee. This is going to be a weekly love reading for the sign of Gemini. This is going to be <clears throat> for the week okay, of the 8th, I believe. Yeah, the week of the 8th. That's what I'm thinking. Looking at the calendar.com. Yeah, daylight savings start soon. Absolutely. Where I'm at. I can't wait. I'm so tired of going home in the dark. Anyway. I hope everybody had a good week. I hope everything is going well with everyone. Um, let's get into your reading. card please Gemini the week of eight thank you so much spirit I see past life the situation involves your past life memories and Pele divine passion be honest with yourself what is your heart's true desire hmm. okay Get into these. <clears throat> okay. When it comes to this card, okay, Isis. All right. Your roots upon this planet are strong and deep, and some of the roots have anchored you in past memories from faraway times. These roots have anchored you so deeply, in fact that you're paralyzed when it comes to moving forward. I've called your attention to this condition so that you may unearth and uproot past memories. Sometimes you bury those memories to shield yourself from psychic pain or embarrassment. So you won't remember those awkward moments when life tested you to the maximum. Reveal those lessons to yourself now, strong sorceress or sorcerer and move forward with the confidence that you have sage wisdom behind you, okay? When it comes to this card, get a past life regression to gain insights and answers. Ancient fears from the past life are surfacing right now, okay? You've known the person you're inquiring about in a past life, or your current information that you, you are thinking about Res relates to a childhood issue of some nature, okay? Now, when it comes to Pele, please bear with me. I feel like my nose keeps running. It's cold in here. Um, if you listen to the sound of your heart and breath, you'll recognize the ancient rhythms of your own internal drumming. This forever connects you to the mother of all creation and to the sound of planet Earth. These rhythms cannot be faked or forged. They're natural and eternal. What part of you are you trying to ignore? What part of you has been overly concerned with pleasing others to the detriment of hearing the sounds of your own rhythm? Reach out and extend your arms to embrace your dreams they're just as much a part of nature as are the trees, animals, and sunsets. Don't let your dreams deserve, don't your dreams deserve the same respect that you accord everyone and everything that you love? Listen to them, okay? Listen to your dreams. They'll activate the powerful eruption of passion in your life. Don't be afraid of your own passion. Okay, for it will propel you naturally and will excite and invigorate you. When you dance to the rhythms of your life, you're truly alive in all ways. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so when it comes to this card, it says, make sure that your career matches your true interests. Take a class or start a hobby that really excites you. 
change jobs. You may not be happy where you are, okay? Go on a wonderful trip. Invest time and money in manifesting your dreams. Give yourself permission to go for whatever it is that you're thinking of. Start that new business and make an honest assessment of how you spend your time, okay? All right. <clears throat> so far, this is not looking too bad. Not at all. Let's see what cards we get here. Past life. Divine passion for Gemini. Okay. Seems that you're in your thoughts. Trying to make a decision. Uh, Queen of Wands. Uh-oh. Some regret here. Okay. Someone's upset. Uh, about a commitment or a marriage. Oh, and something flipped out on me. Wow, and somebody was juggling and we're we not even done shuffling. Let me just put that in here. But y'all see that, right? Hmm. A juggler. Soulmate, twin flame. Possible third party. And somebody's heart is broken. And someone's smug. <laughs> That's the husband and the wife right there. We had the king and the queen of pentacles there. And the sun. The universe is here. Let's get into it, Gemini. See what's going on. Past life, divine passion, please. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Swords and the Empress. So either someone here is taking their lessons learned, okay? And they've went through their lessons uh, successfully and they're becoming the Empress, okay? Or maybe someone has learned some lessons after dealing with an empress. So when I see the Six of Swords, it definitely reads to me as someone has been going through a lot. And with each thing that they've been going through, they've been learning a lesson, right? And for me, that's what all those wands are. Those swords, excuse me, the swords. Um, they all are something for me that, that was learned. And something that you can use in the future because it's with you since it was a lesson. A lot of readers may not see it like that, but I do. So since you have this lesson that you've learned, okay, it could be that, you know, either you learned it dealing with an empress, maybe you were embodying the empress qualities now that you've learned these things, okay? Or maybe, like I said, <clears throat> You 
Yeah, I want to I want to get into this because my my Empress card for me, you know, this this usually signifies, okay, when it comes to love, this is a committed relationship, okay? It's a good romance usually with with a nurturer, a person that is fertile, okay, and and abundant. Loving, caring, prosperous, right? Uh, a person that likes to take care of you. This also could be a pregnant person, right? This also could be a person that, you know, since they're fertile, maybe they're pregnant at this time. Um, this card is also my good sex card. Shh, don't tell nobody. But the way that I'm feeling right now, I'm trying to figure out if I'm feeling good or bad about the six. <laughs> if I'm feeling good or bad about this six of swords, but I really don't have a feeling, you know? It's someone moving, moving. They're taking the lessons that they've learned, right? They're moving quietly in the moonlight, moving through the water, okay? Little frog here is looking. Using a stick, probably not using, you know, making much noise. You know, just going from maybe a hard time, okay, to a calmer, calmer time. <clears throat> and, and because of that, I have to look at this, okay? As something that you've overcome, maybe something that you got through, something wasn't going too well, but you made it through. Okay. And we're going to clarify these two cards, but either you're coming into the Empress status now or you're leaving the Empress status. Someone that was an Emperor, Empress. <laughs> that could be male or female, by the way. <clears throat> I know someone doesn't like to talk because my voice is acting like it wants to go somewhere now since this reading, and it's been fine all day. Oh, my cards are getting bent. What is going on? Wow. Okay. 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 All right. Six of Swords. That's way too many, but you guys see the hanging man. I'm going to let you see what dropped, but I'm going to reshuffle. Six of Swords, the hanging man, the Nine of Cups. Someone had options, okay? Strength card, the Ace of Swords, okay? Someone had to be strong about something. Someone was in their power about something, okay? Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Someone was in their feelings about something. Some sort of some sort of message about some sort of relationship or um they're in their feelings about past life love. To me, this is like kids, they're they're harmonious. Look at their clothes. To me, maybe this could be a soulmate as well, or someone from your past. Uh, someone definitely that you've had a relationship with of some nature. And then the tower. Some sort of change happened here where that foundation crumbled. King of Pentacles is here. Eight of Swords is here in the Hierophant. Looks like someone's trying to make a decision about a marriage. Anyway. Those were way too many cards. Let's see if we can narrow this down here. Six of Swords, the Empress. So right now we want to, <clears throat> to clarify. Let me just try to clarify both. Six of Swords and the Empress, please, Spirit, for Gemini. Six of Swords and the Empress, please. One more time.
Six of Swords, the Empress. Okay, so Spirit wants us to have those messages. As you guys saw what I had, you ha you saw it. Okay, here it comes back out again. Nostalgia, someone from your past. Okay. Someone from the past. Here's the tower again. Okay. Some sort of tower moment happened here. So because of the cards on the table. Oh, here we go. Look. Look at this. I can't make this stuff up. Nine of swords. Someone's contemplating. Someone's killing themselves trying to figure out what they need to do here. Look. Look. About a marriage. And they were juggling. I told you guys. This is what I saw. In the pre-shuffle. Someone here is trying to get back to a relationship from their past. And they're trying to figure out how to do it. That's absolutely what's happening here. And they're trying to move. Okay. Move slowly. Okay. Move meticulously. Move quietly. Away from this empress. That is absolutely what I see. In the beginning of this, I couldn't call it. Okay. Here's my past life person. This is divine passion here because this is a person that they see themselves with. Okay. This is a person that they have this tie with that this that this previous lifetime with who knows how many lifetimes right but this is yeah some sort of tower movement moment is happening right now and someone's in their feelings about it and this is king and queen of pentacles I'm seeing this as a couple, a very abundant couple. A couple that was doing very well together, but someone was juggling someone from the outside. And it could have been the person that was being juggled is the person from the past that someone's trying to get back to. Yeah. And this could, you know, be the male or female energy. Um, it could be you, the person that you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. Because like I said before, you know, you want to take what resonates, but energy can go either direction, right? Could go either way. Could be you or them. see what kind of clarifying cards we get oh that's way too many spirit let's see what we get here soulmate didn't i tell you guys soulmate engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now, I'm not sure if this is a marriage that's over, but with someone moving away, you know, either it's coming to an end or we'll be done soon. And this person, whomever this is, is going to be moving towards their soulmate. That is absolutely what I see. Crystal Angel. Gemini need to know spirit okay. Ruby bless your heart reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart now this could be you okay let me just say that it could be you 
doing this, Gemini, or the person that you're thinking of could be doing these things. So you are the one that knows. So you can take it how it resonates. Rose Quartz, Love Life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. New or remo renewed would be that it was somebody that you had a romantic love before. Mm. Anyway, Gemini, that's been your message. Thank you so much for coming here and spending a moment with me. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can rock out with me next time. Thank you so much. Peace, love, and light to all. Bye.